Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Uh, just in the garage, about to do some work on the old uh, Royal Enfield Interceptor. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, really loving the bike, it's great fun. Uh, but a few little mods that I want to do, and starting with this one today, where I'm going to fit a bash plate to the bike. So stick around, stay tuned, I'll show you what that's all about. Okay, so why a bash plate on the Royal Enfield in particular then? Well, let me show you. Uh, down the front here on the bike, now I've taken the um, little extension off the mudguard. Obviously, the uh, tyre does throw up quite a bit of crud. And if you look where the oil filter is on here, it's right where the crud gets thrown up. So uh, a bash plate on there, just to protect this area a bit from uh, throwing up mud, I think will look good. Plus, I want to make this bike uh, look a bit more scramblery, and I just think it will also enhance the looks of the bike a bit. So uh, I've got myself a bash plate from Tech Bike Parts. Let's go over to the bench, I'll show you what that's like. Okay, so if you've not heard of uh, Tech Bike Parts before, TEC, uh, they're a uh, small company based up north. They're an amazing company, a friendlier bunch of people to deal with you won't find. Uh, and they make lots of parts for uh, Triumph Bonnevilles um, and things like the Royal Enfield and other bikes as well. But uh, anyway, they've started to make some components for the Enfield, which is fantastic. Uh, got in touch with them and they've sent me uh, their bash plate. Let me show you what it comes with. I haven't actually even got it out of the packet yet. Here we go, so this is the bash plate itself, made of what looks like two and a half uh, mil aluminium, so really thick, nice and strong. Uh, holes at the front uh, to let air flow in to make sure that the oil filter stays uh, cool. I think it will look great on the bike. Uh, nice black anodized finished as well, so it'll go with the sort of blacked out look of the bike. So that's the, uh, the plate itself. And then they provide you with all the bracketry you need to actually attach the uh, bash plate to the bike. There's a bit of bracketry here as well. Now the great news, or the good news about this, as far as I'm concerned, is that um, you don't need to do anything too complicated with the bike. Uh, you don't have to, you know, undo frame mounting bolts and things like this. This all just bolts onto the bike. So theoretically, theoretically anyway, I don't have a great record with these things, should be straightforward to do. So all the bracketry is here. What they don't provide you with, though, is instructions. What they do do is give you a fitting guide uh, on the internet. So uh, if I remember, I'll stick a link below to the fitting guide for how you do this. If you do get one, you can then refer to that to actually fit it properly. This isn't going to be a sort of a how-to guide. I'm just going to fit it myself following their instructions, and then uh, I'll let you know at the end how easy or hard it was uh, and show you what it looks like. All right, let's crack on then. It's good this, when I say they provide a fitting guide on the internet, they've actually made a YouTube video step-by-step -step guide for how to fit it. So I'm going to watch this and then I'm going to go ahead and fit it and I'll let you know uh, if it's as easy as they make it look. I have to say, putting this bottom bracket on uh, is fairly straightforward in terms of the procedure, but it's a bit fiddly to do. That's, uh, that's so far been a bit of a, a, bit of a faff, but the uh, instructions on the video are quite clear. Just follow them and you'll get there eventually. All right, there we go, that's the uh, bash plate fitted, everything nice and tightened up. Um, and uh, so how did it go then, how did I find it? And I'm a bit of a technical nut, I find every job difficult, to be honest, but uh, that was pretty straightforward as it goes. The um, video description was absolutely brilliant, the masterstroke, I literally followed, had the laptop here, and I followed uh, what George Milburn from Tech Bike Parts was doing on my bike as he did his. It made it dead easy, it was, uh, you, you couldn't really make a mistake, it's quite obvious how you fit it. Uh, it was a bit fiddly, particularly the bit underneath at the back, uh, whether you get to wind the brackets around the, uh, the frame, it took a bit of fiddling around to get those in, but they did go in eventually. It's made quite nicely, it's gone on there really neat, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. So, uh, big thumbs up for the bash plate, thanks to the Tech Bike Parts for sending it to me, and uh, hope you found that of some interest. Okay, until next time, this has been the Mist and Fly Cheerio.